Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Welcome to my Q&A video series. Here I answer questions that are posted in the comment section below my videos. And today's topic is about white rice and why it's better than brown rice. Uh, and for just general health, for improving your blood sugar and also weight loss reasons. And today's question uh, comes from a previous video that I had made entitled, why low blood sugar can be bad for your health. And I'll give you the link to watch that original video in a minute. Now, in that video, I stated how you want stable blood sugar levels, obviously not high or also not low. And this is important for anyone who wants to avoid, prevent, or reverse diabetes. You want to lose weight. You want to have more muscle. You want to increase your energy levels and basically just live a healthier, longer life while reducing diseases and also slowing the aging process. Now, in that video, I mentioned different foods that you should eat and also avoid. And I stated how you want to eat white rice and not brown rice. And I didn't get to all the details, but I immediately got a lot of questions asking why. And this is obviously a great question because I know it caused a lot of confusion for most people because most of these so-called experts, you know, the doctors and nutritionists keep talking about the benefits of white rice and how you should avoid white rice. And they erroneously tell you this because they say how brown rice, for example, has more protein, but it's only just one gram. Or, for example, uh, brown rice has more fiber. But again, this is barely two grams, not even. Or how brown rice has lower glycemic index and thus doesn't affect your blood sugar levels as much. But this, too, is wrong. First of all, there's different forms of white rice. But needless to say, white rice can actually have lower glycemic index than brown rice, depending on how you cook it. And I'll do another video about this topic in the future and how you can actually lower both the glycemic index and the calorie content of white rice depending on how you cook it. Thus, you can actually eat white rice and not really worry about it as much. However, if you want this, just let me know um, the comments in the comments below if you want the details about this and I'll make sure I make a video about it in the very near future. Just don't forget to also subscribe to this YouTube channel so you'll get notified when the video comes out. Anyway, so you can see there are really just no benefits to brown rice compared to white rice. In fact, these so-called experts fail to mention how brown rice actually has more calories and carbohydrates. Not good if you're trying to lose weight or keep your blood sugar stable, right? But here's the real problem with brown rice and how white rice is actually better and safer for you. So I want you to really pay attention. You see, brown rice has something called phytic acid, which is an anti-nutrient, all right? Now, phytic acid is a compound located in the rice bran. It's that part that gives brown rice its color. In fact, this is true with most other quote-unquote whole grains. Simply stated, phytic acid grabs on to important minerals and inhibits the enzymes we need to properly digest proteins and starches and just food in general. Now, if you're suffering from any food intolerance, or have allergies or sensitivity or GI distress symptoms such as, you know, bloating and gas and so forth, despite a healthy eating, it could be the fact that the whole grains that you're eating and it's better to just switch to eating white rice instead. Now, this is also because whole grains such as brown rice contain dangerous lectins and most people are allergic to lectins and this is because they also cause inflammation in the body and again if you'd like i can also do a video about this and the toxicity of lectins just let me know below in the comments section if you're interested and you know what you don't even have to take my word for it or even the scientific facts just stop and think about it for yourself they give white rice to infants not brown rice all right all the cultures around the world the ones that live the longest and healthiest eat white rice not brown right? The Asians and the Indians and Latin and Greek and Italians and so forth. Anyway, I hope you get the point by now. Now, I'm not saying that now you can go ahead and eat all the white rice you want, all right? I'm just saying that your carbohydrate source should come more from white rice rather than brown rice or even whole grains because of the phytic acid and the lectins. Now, under this video, you can click the link and watch the original video where this original question first came from. More importantly, Make sure you also click the links below in the description area to watch two of my other important videos. One of them is how you can lower your blood sugar naturally without changing your diet or exercise, and also weight loss secrets and how 93% of diet and exercise programs fail. 
Anyways, as always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.